Good morning, everybody. This is a book called Grizzly Bear Cub. Now, if you didn't know it, grizzly bears, of course, they're a kind of bear, but they're brown bears. Grizzly, grizzly bears live in Northern Europe, and they live in the U.S., in the United States where we live, and Canada, too. Grizzly Bear Cub. The days are long and warm. Grizzly Bear Cub's first summer has come. He and his brother have so much to see. Cubs are, if you didn't know it already, cubs are baby bears. Cub and his family walk down a mountain. The cubs stay close to their mother. She will keep them safe. The, one of the most dangerous animals in the world is a mama bear because she will protect her babies. Cub and his brother want to play. Whoosh! They slide down the melting snow. Now, do you see how the word melting here is darker? That's because it, it, it's called a bold word. And this is a bold word because the author is worried that maybe you don't know this word. So in the back, he has a, a section called the glossary, and it tells you what each of the words mean. I'll show you later. Cub and his family wander through the woods. They stop to eat a snack of bugs and juicy berries. Cub is hungry. Huh. So they eat bugs and berries, huh? Hmm. They come to a river. Many other bears are gathered here. Cub sniffs the air. He has never seen other bears. <clears throat> other bears are dangerous to baby bears. Fish jump from the cold water as it rushes past. Cub watches his mother catch a fish. See how she does it? She has big claws. She can scoop them right out of the water. Cub tries to catch a fish. It is not easy. The fish slips out of his paws. Paws is another word for hands of animals. Animals don't have hands. They have paws. Except for, of course, you know, monkeys and apes. They have hands. I bet that water is very cold. A fish jumps out of the water. It lands on a rock. Cub grabs it and holds it with his paws. Yay, he caught his first fish. That's so awesome. A big bear wants the fish. He chases Cub. Cub is afraid. He drops the fish and climbs up a tree. When bears get full grown, they're too big to climb trees. The trees will break. And it's hard to pull up all their weight into the tree. So it's a safe spot for the grizzly cub. Big grizzly bears cannot climb trees. Oh, oh, see? Cub is safe. Cub's mother chases the big bear away. Cub climbs down. Oh, man, I think he ended up with the fish. Oh, well. Cub's mother has something for him. It is his first fish. Wow, oh, cool, huh? So, so far we learned about bugs, berries, and fish uh, are things. Oh, look. It's the glossary. I told you about this. It's the part of the book that tells what the bold words mean. Gathered means brought together in one place. Melting is when the snow turns from a solid to a liquid. Paws are the feet of some animals. And wander means to roam around from place to place. Usually without a purpose, other than maybe to find food or something. Here's a, a, a note, at, an author's note at the end, and it says about grizzly bears. Grizzly bears once lived in Asia, Africa, Europe, and North America, but they have become extinct in many places. Unlike black bears, they originally lived in open tundra areas. They now live in various habitats, including the temperate rainforests and open grasslands. So long, long ago, they only lived in the frozen lands. But a long time ago, also, <laughs> their frozen lands went, went much further south. It was during the Ice Age that they lived that far, uh, that they lived only in the tundra. Tundra means frozen land. Grizzly bears can be brown, black, blonde, that means uh, light hair colored, or a combination. Their long outer hairs have white or gray at the ends, giving the bear a grizzled look. This is where the bear gets its name. Grizzlies are omnivores, which means they eat plants and meat. 
They are known for defending their territory and their young. Omnivores, that's a big word. It means they eat plants and meat. Grizzly bears hibernate but are easily woken up. They live 20 to 25 years, but some can live up to 30 years. Wow, it's a long time for an animal. Other animals that live near grizzly bears, elk, that's a kind of deer, mountain sheep, moose, salmon, mountain goats, and squirrels. Huh. I like that book called Grizzly Bear Cub. I hope you did too.